For decades, the inflationary model has been the cornerstone of cosmological theory, suggesting that the universe underwent a rapid exponential expansion, fractions of a second after the Big Bang. This expansion purportedly stretched tiny quantum fluctuations, seeding the formation of galaxies and large-scale structures we observe today. However, recent discussions in the scientific community propose an alternative that gravitational waves could have played a pivotal role in this process. In this video, we will explore this groundbreaking idea, dive into the science behind gravitational waves, discuss why this discovery is so important, and uncover what it means for our understanding of the universe. The inflationary model has long been a cornerstone of cosmological theory. Proposed in the early 1980s, it was designed to address several glaring issues in the Big Bang theory, such as the horizon problem, the flatness problem, and the origin of the universe's large-scale structure. Inflation suggests that in the first fractions of a second after the Big Bang, the universe expanded exponentially, growing from subatomic scales to something the size of a grapefruit, or larger, in less than a second. This rapid expansion smoothed out irregularities, explaining why the universe appears homogeneous and isotropic on large scales. Inflation also explains the origin of the cosmic microwave background, a faint glow of radiation that permeates the universe. Quantum fluctuations in the inflating universe were stretched to macroscopic scales, leaving imprints in the CMB. These imprints are observable today as tiny temperature variations, which correspond to the initial seeds of galaxy formation. Despite its explanatory power, the inflationary model faces significant theoretical and observational challenges. One major issue is its reliance on a scalar field, often called the inflaton, to drive the rapid expansion. While mathematically plausible, there is no direct evidence for the existence of such a field. Additionally, the exact mechanism that triggered inflation and caused it to stop remains unknown. The transition from inflation to the radiation-dominated phase of the universe, known as reheating, is poorly understood and highly speculative. Another problem is the multiverse hypothesis that emerges from some inflationary models. If inflation occurred, it could have happened repeatedly in different regions of space, creating an infinite number of universes with varying physical laws. While intriguing, this idea raises philosophical and scientific questions about testability and falsifiability. Critics argue that a theory predicting an infinite number of outcomes is difficult, if not impossible, to prove or disprove. Furthermore, inflation does not address the fundamental question of why it occurred. What conditions existed before inflation? What caused the inflaton field to dominate and expand the universe? These questions highlight the model's reliance on assumptions that have yet to be confirmed by observational data. Observationally, while the CMB provides indirect evidence supporting inflation, direct detection of primordial gravitational waves, a critical prediction of the model, remains elusive. The BICEP2 experiment initially claimed to have detected such waves in 2014, but subsequent analysis revealed the signal was likely due to interstellar dust rather than inflationary processes. In light of these challenges, some physicists have begun to explore alternative explanations for the universe's early expansion and structure formation. These alternatives seek to retain the successes of inflation while addressing its shortcomings, one of which involves gravitational waves. Gravitational waves, first predicted by Einstein's general theory of relativity, are ripples in the fabric of space-time caused by massive cosmic events like colliding black holes or neutron stars. These waves were directly detected for the first time in 2015 by the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, opening a new era in astrophysics. But could gravitational waves have played a foundational role in shaping the universe itself? 
Recent research suggests that gravitational waves might replace inflation as the mechanism for forming the universe's large-scale structure. This alternative theory is based on the concept of quantum foam, a chaotic, high-energy state in the early universe where space-time itself was unstable. In this state, quantum fluctuations generated gravitational waves that propagated and amplified over time. In this model, the gravitational waves acted as seeds for density variations in the early universe. These variations allowed matter to clump together, eventually forming galaxies, stars, and other cosmic structures. Unlike inflation, which relies on a scalar field, this gravitational wave-driven mechanism is rooted in phenomena already observed and understood in the framework of general relativity. A critical component of this theory is de Sitter space, a mathematical model describing an expanding universe dominated by a cosmological constant. In such a space, gravitational waves naturally arise from quantum vacuum fluctuations. Over time, these waves create patterns in space-time that influence the distribution of matter. One of the most compelling aspects of this model is its ability to explain the universe's structure without requiring the fine-tuning inherent in inflationary models. The gravitational wave-driven process emerges naturally from the laws of physics, sidestepping the need for hypothetical entities like the inflaton field. Additionally, this theory aligns with observations of the cosmic microwave background, as the density variations it predicts could match the temperature fluctuations we observe. While the gravitational wave model addresses some of inflation's shortcomings, it is not without challenges. For example, it must account for the transition from an early high-energy state to the radiation-dominated phase of the universe, where light and matter began to interact. Researchers proposed that as gravitational waves amplified and collided, they created conditions for scalar perturbations to dominate, ending the inflation-like phase. This transition mirrors some aspects of the traditional reheating process, but arises from different principles. The idea that gravitational waves could replace inflation has profound implications for cosmology and physics. One major implication is the potential revision of the cosmic timeline. Traditional models place inflation within the first trillionth of a second after the Big Bang. A gravitational wave-driven mechanism might operate over a different timescale, requiring adjustments to our understanding of the universe's earliest moments. This could influence how we interpret data from cosmic observations, such as the distribution of galaxies and the behavior of dark matter. Relevant discoveries already support elements of this theory. The detection of gravitational waves by LIGO and Virgo has demonstrated their existence and properties, providing a foundation for exploring their role in cosmology. Moreover, observations of the cosmic microwave background by missions like WMAP and Planck reveal patterns consistent with density variations caused by early gravitational waves. Another intriguing discovery comes from the James Webb Space Telescope, which has identified massive, ancient galaxies that challenge traditional models of galaxy formation. These red monster galaxies, formed within a billion years of the Big Bang, suggest that matter clumped together more efficiently than inflation alone can explain. A gravitational wave-driven mechanism might offer a better explanation for these observations. Looking to the future, researchers aim to test this hypothesis through more precise measurements of the CMB and gravitational wave background. Instruments like the laser interferometer, space antenna, and the cosmic explorer will be pivotal in detecting signals from the early universe. Theoretical work will also play a crucial role. Physicists are developing mathematical models to simulate how gravitational waves could influence matter distribution. These models will be compared with observational data to refine or refute the theory. Additionally, interdisciplinary efforts involving particle physics, quantum mechanics, and cosmology will help build a comprehensive understanding of this alternative framework. Thank you for watching. 
If you enjoyed exploring the fascinating idea of gravitational waves shaping the universe, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Let us know your thoughts or questions in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Stay curious about the cosmos, and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep looking up.